Hi, this is Emma, and welcome to Esoteric Detective. One of the most unusual stars in our galaxy, KIC 8462852, has been the subject of an immense amount of interest in the last few months. The star has been nicknamed Tabby's Star, after it was discovered by Yale University researcher, Dr. Tabitha Boyajan. The star, which was found by a crowdsourcing project, that is through the Planet Hunters project, is now having further funding provided by the public. Since now, a Kickstarter campaign, started on 18 May this year by Dr. Tabitha Boyajan, who first spotted the signals, has now reached its $100,000 goal. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Jason Wright. I'm an associate professor of astronomy and astrophysics at the Center for Exoplanets and Habitable Worlds at Penn State University. Today I want to talk about Tabby's star, which has been called the most mysterious star in the galaxy. The planet hunter citizen scientists noticed that it was getting dim by large amounts, far too much to be explained by a planet. And it was doing so in very irregular ways. It wasn't happening periodically. And the dimming and brightening patterns didn't match any other known star. Dr. Tabitha Boyajian at Yale University started to look to see what was going on. At first we thought it might be some sort of a glitch in the electronics or the, some other data anomaly. But NASA scientists and engineers verified that the Kepler spacecraft really was seeing a star get dimmer by large amounts. So this has been dubbed the most mysterious star in the galaxy because as of now, we don't have any really good ideas for what's going on with it. All of the ideas that have been proffered so far, though, seem to be ruled out by other aspects of the star. I actually published a paper where we were discussing whether there might be alien megastructures around stars in the galaxy. I pointed out that the Kepler spacecraft would detect them if they existed because after all, what it's seeing are something very large, something clearly not stars or planets, blocking huge amounts of starlight. The project is hoping to investigate the most mysterious star in the galaxy according to the Kickstarter page. Interest in the star, which is 1,480 light years away, began last October when scientists found unusual fluctuations in its light. Oh, I've got something freaky to tell you right now. NASA's Kepler telescope has identified an odd star, or is it a star that is giving astronomers pause and raising questions about the possibility of an extraterrestrial civilization? A distant star's light is flickering due to a tight band of matter circling it. And that would normally mean that the star, maybe it's young, maybe it's old, is just doing its business, but it's making scientists wonder about the possibility of an alien civilization that has built a megastructure around the star, harnessing its energy and power. Dr. Michio Kaku, theoretical physicist and professor at the City College of New York, joins me. Welcome back, doctor. Welcome. So let us talk about this. What is this flickering star business? This story could be as big as the discovery of the wheel. What? The invention of fire. What? We're talking about a story of all stories. Yes because this could change our understanding of our place in the universe, a megastructure perhaps bigger than a planet that's controlled by. But now, the craziest thing that you told me before we started, the Kepler telescope is offline. It can't take in any of that data anymore, so we cannot learn anything more about this anomaly. That's right, the Kepler uh, satellite which detected this object, this mega object in space is offline because the gyroscopes are uh, basically broke and it cannot align itself now and take pictures. And we can't bring it back to fix it, so what does that mean? Well, if you're a conspiracy theorist, you would say that when the aliens figured out that we're on to them, mm -hmm. they crippled our telescope so we can't get any more information. However, what some people are saying now is we should then point our radio telescopes to listen in on their I Love Lucy and their Leave it to Beaver. Yeah. That is their television and radio. That's but the mystery of what is causing the light flicker might be soon solved, now that a fundraising campaign to investigate the star has reached its target. Thanks not to the government, but the public. 
What that says, is clear, that agencies such as CERTI, whose mandate is to search for alien life, would not fund the project to look for any life on Tabby's star. Even though the major scientific community now, has concluded, that this star, out of all the stars in our sky, is the one that needs true investigation. The Kepler mission monitored the star for four years, looking at two unusual incidents, in 2011 and 2013, when the star's light dimmed in dramatic, never-before-seen ways. When a planet orbits a star, the star's brightness usually reduces by around 1%. But Tabby's star, has had a reduction of around 22%, which suggests something huge may be moving past it, according to a study by Louisiana State University. And recent studies have now dismissed all other known factors, apart from it being something artificial. What do you guys think? Isn't it great that the public are now a true part of funding this kind of research? Or do you think nothing will come of this, and if alien life is found, it will just be covered up? Stay tuned and subscribe to Esoteric Detective, to keep up to date with the strange and unusual. And please give a thumbs up, if you liked the video. And do let me know what you think in the comments section. Until next time reach out and touch the stars.